Hey, Yaga Ho for episode two. Uh, Pokemon, let's go. Let's go shiny Eevee. How about that? I still can't believe it. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, we actually got that last time off like, what was it, maybe like three, four resets? So, uh, I believe we bought some Pokeballs last time. Let's check our pack. Pick a Bitterberry. I'm, I'm glad that they had berries back in this game. And it looks like they're using the old names for them too, so that's pretty sweet. This is normally the Persim Berry, I think, in the later games. So, kind of reneging on that. That's kind of nice. Uh, although I believe that gets confusing on like the burnt berry. I think heals freeze because it, it warms you up. Whatever. Uh, we have 12 pokeballs. That hopefully will be enough. How much? I don't know. That should be enough for right now. Stop for this guy. Defeated gym and earn a badge. You can go back and rechallenge it whenever you want. Oh, that's nice. That I did not know. Uh, this is like the house where you learn about status or whatever, right? Don't really care to go in there. I guess we're just kind of going Viridian Forest. I could go to the left and like try to get Nitto or something like that. But I don't really need Nitto too much. Double shot of Espresso. I'm <laughs> he is wired. I believe you, my dude. I've seen you uh, for... Goodness. Uh, getting close to 20 years. Not quite 20 years in the US, but uh, getting close to 20 years. Alright, uh, I don't even know if there's anyone I really want in here, to be honest with you. But maybe we can. Okay. Let's see what we can get. Random Wild Butterfree? What? Level 10? Don't know if want. Um, I do have her. Let's see, it's. Is it gonna have confusion? I'll try it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's gonna have confusion. No part. I didn't see it in the build. Perfect. Uh, freaking Gen 1 missed the tackle! Actually, tackle just got bad accuracy. Uh, do I just run from this? It outsped me. Uh, I'm actually gonna try Flail. Because it's gonna knock me down into, like, primo Flail range, right? As it, I call that pretty close to primo Flail range. I don't have quick attack. Oh, they didn't do nothing. We gotta run. <laughs> Dang, the wild fights in this game. Ugh. The wild fights in this game can get rough, apparently. Alright, we're already gonna go back and center and heal. Think they get us not doing. Yeah, like, this is why I wasn't gonna do a no center no more. So I'm like, I don't know what crazy this is gonna be in this. You know, new game on the Switch. They're gonna make it a little bit. a little bit harder, right? And. Oh, that's cool. I guess, it, like, maybe after you go to a Pokemon Center, the lady doesn't uh, give you the text dialogue. That's pretty sweet. Makes it a lot faster to use this Pokemon Center. Nice. So we go. We still gotta get cut at some point, so I guess it's gonna be in. I mean, it used to be on the SSN. You know, who knows what they changed. Uh, so I don't know if I want to be <laughs> dueling level 10 Butterfreeze. <laughs> that might be uh, slightly beyond my capability right now, uh, especially with having uh, how much? How much? Almost, I almost said resistance. Uh, how much special death does Varia have? Uh, well, it's. I mean, that's yeah, right. I guess it's special death is actually I think Eevee's like best stat. Uh, now that I think about it. Texas, there's that on Route 1, dude. Don't worry about that. We got here. Bring your forest. Let's see, probably some items on the floor. At least, like, in balls, right? Yep. Okay, good. Antidote. In case there aren't any Weedles or whatever. Um, I think Eevee version is considered the blue. Um... Which I just realized my character is kind of blue hued, so that's probably why that's the case. Um, so I guess it's gonna like kind of mimic most of the Gen One, or excuse me, the um, blue stuff. So like we'll probably see um, Vulpix instead of Growlithe and stuff, right? Uh, Meowth instead of Mankey, that sort of thing. All right, please don't have more level ten Butterfree that I can't deal with. Our right, Caterpie, we can deal with Caterpie. <laughs> oh yes, level three Caterpies I can deal with. Love that shiny effect, by the way. Okay, we got a two shot with tackle, good. So, Eevee's not gonna be very good against Brock now that I think about it. So, that's a bit rough. Uh, I mean. Okay, I think the, um, I think the Nittos get double kick, but I think they only get it in yellow. So that's an option. Alright, we got another wild, uh, another wild, a wild trainer. 
that would mean they're not comfy, comfy or easy to wear. I mean, I guess they'd be easy to wear, but they wouldn't be very comfy if you just kept hitting Nixon cuts. Alright, Ed. Okay, good. Don't have level 10 Butterfreeze. <laughs> they're gonna absolutely destroy you. Yeah, I definitely want to get another poke uh, this episode, if at all possible. I don't know that we're going to be able to get a Butterfree. <laughs> that would be pretty wild, but I want something just so I feel okay going in with some Red Bar Flail strats. Uh, it's a really cool move that they start you off with, so you can do stuff like that. It can potentially make grinding a lot easier, you know, because you just have this big, you know, 150 plus base power move, uh, depending on exactly how low you get. Uh, I do have an antidote for this Poison Sting, if it does Poison, which it does. I don't know if I want to use it or not, though. I right, do get a Ronku up. I want Sand Attack. I think I want to keep Charm. Charm's great defensively right now. Um, I don't really see the need for Tail Whip, so I'm just gonna replace that with, um, with Sand Attack. I feel like Eevee gets Quick Attack pretty early too, and that'll easily replace Tackle. Right, but we need to just eat offense right now because we're poisoned. So nice meaty damage, despite our uh, bad attack IV. What is it? I think it's like two. <laughs> That's actually gonna make me uh, want to lean towards Vaporeon because I think we also have a zero HP IV that we were able to see last episode. So Vaporeon having the high HP stat uh, will help mitigate that. All right, I want to see. How far we can walk? We got 20 hit points. Let's see if we can walk back to Rigging City. See how fast the poison picks up. And I know they took away poison damage completely in some of the recent games. Like after battle poison damage. Um, it's gonna be close. And before we don't make it. So I'm glad they brought that back. Cause like that's that's what poison did. Like you know. No way. Um, I don't actually know what happens if you do that. So we're just gonna save. <laughs> I'm just gonna save and find out. Because <laughs> I'm uh, not beholden to any sort of Nuzlocke rules or anything like that. So I'm just gonna save. What actually does happen in this game if you hit zero hit points? Do you just black out in the field? Two. Alright, this is the last one. Okay. <laughs> you survive on one. Alright. He's like, I, I don't think I've ever had that happen before where my last Pokemon fainted from poison while just from like overworld poison, right? Like, I've definitely had it happen where they faint, but there's like other Pokemon in the party, but I've never had it happen where it's just the only Pokemon faints. Or, you know, the, the last remaining one faints. Like, I I'd never seen the, the whited out cutscene. Cutscene in quotation marks. Like, that, that would be impressive if they actually had, like, a proper, like, CGI cutscene for when you run out of Pokemon. Uh, we already went through here. And we fought this guy with Weedle. Triple Weedle guy. Uh, I'm actually gonna see what else in the forest. Might be some Pikachus here. So, I'll kill them, because I don't like Pikachu. It kind of looks like night in here, but uh, that's just because, you know, the, the lush canopies of Viridian Forest. More Pokeballs, good. So yeah, this is, yeah, it looks like it's still... I mean, that makes sense. Gonna be, what is that? I want to go over there. Just walk around these trees. It doesn't look like it's blocking anything off with, uh, with Cut. I mean, maybe there's a hidden item behind the, you know, on that stump. So, maybe we'll come back here when we get Cut. Hmm. Uh, looks like we had a trainer fight coming up. I don't really... I don't really want to do Beedrill. I mean, I need something to use against Brock, right? Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, do I want to sand it? Is it worth trying to sand attack? But probably not. I just two shot attack. All right, it's level three. Oh, almost one shot, I think. 
Alright, let's see if our speed is high enough so that it does not... Alright, good. So we can take one string shot and still be faster, that's good. Good useless crit. Creating like no experience now. Alright, this guy I feel like is pretty much a force fight. Why don't girls like bug Pokemon? I don't know. I mean... I think it's just a carryover from real life. Or just Misty, in general. Like that, that was part of Misty's report. Oop. I mean, I know that women don't like those. Um, so that's intriguing. So there we go, there's another uh, Gen 2 folk that they put in this game. That's pretty cool. I mean, and so far they've both been like early, early Gen 2 stuff. So it's like stuff you would have seen pretty early. I think Spinarak was gold exclusive though, wasn't it? Was it? I think so. I think it was like Spinarak was gold only uh, in, the, in the night and Lediba... The, I mean, they were both bad, let's be honest. But uh, Lady I think, was uh, silver at, at, in the morning. Or were they in both? I think No, I think they were actually both in both. I think. Maybe? I know they were in uh, morning and night exclusives. Okay, well, thankfully that was no problem at all. He just spat some webs at me, and that was it. Alright, we're gonna repel, but I'm actually kinda trying to get some wild fights in. Where's your slot better at? Okay, cool, so that's kind of a. That's a thing that the later game started doing. We got. Oh, you know what? I should check through here, because be I believe there's an item through here. Or at least there used to be. Crap. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wipe to Butterfree. Oh, it's level 8, though. Okay, we might be able to handle this. Do I wanna catch. I don't have a good name for this. I mean. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Um, we'll see if I can knock it into... Oh, no, I just need to... All right, we'll see how... Um, I don't know why I didn't bother. Well, okay, okay, that's considerably less damage. I think we got to level up and it's two levels lower. Um, I think Tackle's still going to be better. Does it only have Confusion? It may only have Confusion because it's a pre-evolved Butterfree. In which case, it's just going to, like, continually destroy me. Um, oh, we got a crit. Nice. All right, Flail might kill after another Confusion. Not count HP, please go. Yes! I mean, if it didn't kill, honestly, I was gonna throw a Pokeball. Because I think that might have had a better success rate than running. I'm gonna get some stats up. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through here without using a potion. Aw, oh, crap! <laughs> See, I think I did buy an extra potion, so we might be alright. We might be alright. Rob has a wheel. I'm not too low on hit points. I really need to look up Flail's formula to see, like, when is it better than Tackle. I feel like if you're under half, it's better than Tackle. I feel like it's better than Tackle now. We'll see. Uh, I had one shot, so I guess that's good enough. Good enough. All right. So thankfully the bug catchers aren't whipping out the uh, the fully evolved guys, <laughs> but the wild fights are. You would think it would be angry bee drills swarming, but uh, no, it's uh, the angry angry butterflies. The water coming out and trying to kill me with confusion. Oh man. You know, I guess Pikachu and Eevee both I think have decent, not great, but decent special defense. So that's uh, that's actually not too big a deal. That would just be awful. You know, I'm trying to think in the oh, we can go down here. But first, I want to say, uh, I'm trying to think in, in the anime, there was ever a thing where someone actually got stung by a bee drill. I still got the Jigglypuff there. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know that's true. Haunter, which you traded for Z Okay, so I guess the, maybe that's the only way you can get Zatu is by the Haunter trade. I guess that would give him a Gengar, so it sucks for him. <laughs> Unless you attach the Everstone. Ooh, old New Island. Could that be some post-game content? Maybe. But not every night. Let's see, so there was actually a gap down here where, uh, you used to have to use Cut, but, uh, I guess it's more accessible now. You don't actually need Cut. And this is Diglett Cave, right? We could get a Diglett. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is not a Professor Oak's aid. Got a nugget, nice. We want to sell that for some uh, some startup cash. <laughs> I know there's a joke about nuggets being a uh, keen tama. I'm not even trying to say that correctly, sorry. Um, but there's also like, which is also like a euphemism for testicles. <laughs> So this is an oak aid. Looks like we need uh, at least one, maybe two badges. So oh, nice, we have more items down here. Oh, ma Ooh, nice! Episode two, max potion already. We uh, clearly don't want to use that right now. And then elixir. That's the tin to everything one. <laughs> is that misspelled? <laughs> I think that's misspelled. Uh, all right, got right. poison cure berry. That's nice. And I don't think I saw a way to get back over there. Oh, there's another item, though. Okay, we got a dire hit. I don't really have anything that uh, works with criticals right now. Alright. I feel like there should be a hidden item somewhere here. I'm assuming there's still hidden items in this game. I think in um, the last time we saw this game remade, Fire Leaf Green, a lot of the hidden items had like a slightly darker pixel on the square it was on, which I kind of liked. You know, if you... If you were observant and looking at the screen, you know, you could see it. It was kind of a giveaway with some behind the tape. Um, Carbo's sweet. You know, you could see it, uh, and you didn't have to, like, stop and press A on every square, which, let's be honest, is kind of annoying. And basically, should you, like, kind of go slowly and look and scan the area as opposed to just dig into every spot you see. Kind of turns you into Shovel Knight. Okay. So Mark's probably going to sell the same stuff then, right? If it scales based on badges. Oh, hang on. Uh, so we have Hard Stone, Soft Sand, Black Belt. This is going to be, this can't be all of them, right? Twisted Spoon, Black Glasses, Never Melt Ice, Poison Barb, Polka Dot Bow. That's interesting they brought that back. Uh, the Light Ball? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, we have freaking Pikachu. So that you probably buy that if you're playing the Pikachu version. Uh, the Lucky Punch, and then also, so I guess, I guess some uh, some stores have like a, a custom selection as well as uh, the gen generic selection. Actually, oh, they probably have Great Ball before, right? I don't think so. Hmm. hmm was that sign up post a lie? Might have been. Uh, we got Super Repel, the most cost-effective repel, as you know. Uh, I love Great Ball, but it's three times the price of Pokeball, and it's not three times the catch rate, so... And, uh, I don't think we saw anywhere where, oh, like, on the status screen, like, what ball it was caught in. I'm usually pretty big on that, but, uh, I don't think that's actually a thing here, so... A weird old man who sold magic card. The pre premium magic arc. Premium magic arc. You know what would have been funny if the magic arc that the magic arc guys uh, salesman sold you was like max DVs in Gen One. That would have been funny. A bizarre in Johto. That would be cool if they added um, Johto as like a nice post game. Like I gotta have it the reverse of a uh, gift shop. Okay, um, so we go the route. Oh, sweet! So we don't actually have to fight Brock yet! Alright, that's awesome. That's amazing, because I don't have a Pokemon that's good against Brock. Um, I'm gonna try to dodge trainers and see if we can catch any poke. Because, yeah, I don't like just Eevee. Just Monica is one thing, but just Eevee uh, against Brock is probably not gonna be very good. We got all normal type attacks. See what we can find in here. I mean, I don't think Jigglypuff exactly helps, but. Uh. I mean, we could use Arbok. Mm. I mean, Poison would be good. Like, Poison's not very effective to ground, of course. Uh. Is there a wrap? So what's going to be Rap's mechanics in this game? So I guess I'll click attack. So it's continuous damage. So that makes me think it's just going to be like the the more modern Rap, right? Yeah, you can still attack during it, uh, but you can't switch. Okay. That was the weakness of Rap in the 
the original games was that you could you could switch out of it, but you couldn't attack. <laughs> it was really annoying. That's why a gel wrap Dragonite was pretty stupid. Like it didn't ruin the meta game, but it was just pretty stupid. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, I definitely don't need Rattata. Are you, are you kidding me? I have a shiny normal type. It's amazing. It's too bad abilities aren't in this game, otherwise I might actually catch one just for Runaway. Uh, we'll probably still go with Tackle. Okay, I think after this episode I'm going to look up the exact mechanics for Flail. At least like how it usually is. I don't, I'm not sure if it's... Uh... Holy crap, stop missing Tackles! What the carp? <laughs> all right, there we go. Kill the bloody Rattata. Oh, if we can at least get level ten in this video. That'd be all right. I guess we could try going the Mountain Lakes. So even something like a Geodude would be great. Uh, I don't think no Brock doesn't really have um, like rock type moves, right? I don't think so. At least not usually. Here's the Pokemon Center that probably didn't really need to be there, but that's in the door. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, so I guess we'll, uh... Yeah, you know what? Actually, we'll, we'll stop here and go into Mount Moon next episode. I hate that we can get, get a Pokemon caught, but uh, next episode, um, I actually would really like to get a Paris. If we get that. I, I've always really liked Paris. It'd be great for catching more Pokemon, too. So, there's that. Uh, so, see you guys next episode for more Let's Go Eevee. Or hopefully Eevee will be joined by somebody else and we'll explore Mount Moon. Better days.